and hold on to the 3% who run the world and leave everybody Jesus. else, you're going to have disease. You're going to have disease because man has not managed God's world properly because he is greedy. And then he turns around and wants God, we want God to intercede quickly on bad decisions that we make. If God were to intercede on every decision you made that would hurt you or what he didn't like, you wouldn't have free will. Mm, if you see. got free will, you got to live with the consequences of your decision. And we don't want to do that. We want to have the right to choose, but we don't want to live with what we choose. We want God, God to run in here and save us from it. That's why mm. some folk didn't vote. My God. Oh, and that's this is powerful, Bishop. I'm enjoying. Oh, we're going to get to love one another and share with one another and understand that because... I have a bigger house than you does not make me better than you. Mm. That's what God has to do with us. And then, of course, I've been hard on my evangelical brothers. I need to have a conversation openly so they yes. can explain to me why they're so quiet about this. One, two, why they have supported all of the stuff that goes on in Washington without a word. You see why they have given up their mm. theocratic, their mm. theocratic power for yes. democratic influence. My and, God. And when I tell you, uh, my son, you got to understand this. Yes. What has happened is in a theocracy, God rules. And the democracy of America, remember on our penny, mm -hmm. uh, in God we trust. The yes. forefathers had placed the whole theocratic concept that they knew into the democracy. Yes. All right? Mm -hmm. But lately, when we talk about being buddy-buddy with power, the yes. GOP, the GOP, they call themselves conservatives. The evangelicals are conservatives because they stand on the principles of the GOP. But GOP, richest Senate, richest Congress, the GOP, mm -hmm. they don't like to give things to little people. I see. They, they call that socialism. When, you, when I have to share with you, you're asking me to become a socialist. Well, that's where the evangelicals lay their hat. Yes. In a place where we take whatever is ours and we try to share as minimum, minimal as we can. So... Right there, we have to link with a president who thinks like we do. Yes. And no matter what he does, we have nothing to say because we want him there not to be a pastor. All right. We elected him to be a president, not a pastor. Not a pastor. All right? Yes. We didn't elect him to be a pastor, but he should listen to pastors. Oh, you see, the I king, see. the king, Hezekiah, had to listen to Isaiah, who yes. pointed the finger in David's face when he stole the black man's wife and had the black man killed. Mm, Nathan, the prophet. Yes. The prophet. Yes. Where have you seen when, when John the Baptist you know, another thing we're confused about is, is this term, speaking truth to power. Mm, and, and we go, now, now, now today, today, if you speak truth to the powers that be who control the CIA and who control all of the other uh, DOJ, you better be ready to have your head cut off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because I'm mm -hmm. saying essentially... I'm saying sure. essentially, they might not kill you physically, but whatever you got in the closet is going to sure. come out. Yes. So people are very reticent to open their mouth because of what they may have in the closet. They lose True. their head. Now, True. we somehow think that when the preacher, the apostle, the prophet, the pastor mm -hmm. 
is talking mm -hmm. to the president. And I've seen people just try to run into the president's house and yes. run into the White House and all, oh, oh man, I'm in the White House. I'm, uh, I'm something powerful. What? You have it mixed up. When, the, sure. when John the Baptist was speaking to Herod, truth to power. Truth to according power. According to us. Yeah, yes. according to us, and lost his head. He wasn't speaking up to Herod. He was speaking down to Herod because oh. the oracle of God is never subjected to any other administrative power when Jesus. God is speaking through you. Jesus. The problem is God hasn't been speaking through us. Now, somebody says John lost his head. That means Herod had power over John. Wrong. All right. Jesus All right. said, Jesus said, come on, of a man born of a woman, there is no greater than John Benjamin. the Baptist. But he that is least in the kingdom, oh, yes, is greater than he. All right. All when right. you open your mouth and speak, and you declared this the year of the rat. Hmm. None of them could stop it. Yes. Who yes. could stop it when God declares something? Mm. Who can make it and change it? And, mm. and doesn't he say he can turn the king's heart? Now talk to me now. Look, mm. look we, we've got scripture to back it up all the way across. True. We, you see, so at the end of the day, when everybody's running to you know, just think it's a big deal to be in, 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 in the White House or with senators or with governors and, and all of that stuff. At the end of the day, your theocracy yes. is above any democracy or monarchy or oligarchy Jesus. or Jesus. any kind of rule that there is. It's certainly above anarchy. Bishop. What can matter what the rule? Okay. You spoke to me about the difference between foretelling and foretelling. Yeah. And I've learned the power that is in the foretelling. <clears throat> Given an opportunity for you to foretell the next six months, what will you say to the church, to the body of Christ, to the if whole body of Christ around the world? Yes. I would say around the world to everyone who's listening right now that it is critical for us. First of all, it is critical for you to establish that individual relationship with God yes. that you talk so much about when we were in the church. When All you right. declared we got to know him for ourselves. You got to know, you got to know him for yourself. Hmm. Well, now you have to know him for yourself without being in a congregation and without being in front of a pastor Every Sunday, every Wednesday, three times on oh, Sunday, two yes. times on Wednesday. Now I'm foretelling. This point is essential right now because your future is going to depend on how close you get to God. All right. Now All right. is the time to share. Now is the time to share. Now is the time to spend the time with your family that you weren't spending before. And heal those wounds. Now yes. is not the time as a child of God mm. to follow the pattern of the world because child abuse has increased. Family abuse is increasing. Domestic abuse has increased because mm. people are locked in. So now is the time to search yourself and make sure that you do not fall into anything that the world is falling into. Now is the time to study the word so that when you come back to church, which I'm, I'm, I'm forth telling, yes. now is the time when to study the word so that when you come back into being able to assemble, you can choose the right assembly. All because right, all right, Paul all right. said, follow me as I follow Christ. Christ. But for, we didn't know where Christ was. Because we followed folk into all kinds of stuff. But now I have a chance to study, to 
gain it for myself. So when I come back, I am not going to be led into anything that is not godly and does not give me the strength for anything that is to come. Now, that is telling you what to do because if you do that now, your future will be bright Jesus. with God. All right, God all right. will turn your finances around. You don't have to worry you, about Lord. that. And I'm going to mm. tell you why he'll turn it around. Yes. Because these, this government in America and the industrialized countries, they're going to go for the money. Yes. They're going to make the money come back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. period so you don't have I to see. worry about that what you have to worry about is how close am I to the Lord how strong am I in my vision how, how free am I in my giving now because my once God. this sharing is over the church will only exist after this the millennials are going to insist let me All tell right. you something Yes, uh, Black Lives Matter is what we have now as civil rights for black people. All right. Black Lives Matter is the only movement in civil rights for black folk that have never been led by a preacher. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. It's led by the millennials and preachers don't have to be included for them to fight for the right. So what does that tell me? If we're going to win the millennials, we have to be action-oriented. We can't keep driving by homeless people. We can't keep ignoring people who are psychologically and mentally challenged. I we see. cannot keep ignoring our boys who are going to jail by the thousands and thousands and thousands, our girls who are prostituting themselves for something to eat. We cannot keep ignoring human trafficking. We cannot keep ignoring sexual slaves. We can't keep ignoring these things. Jesus. We Jesus. are the church. Now when we come back, because of the direction we took, we will be able to be on the right hand instead of the left hand. When Jesus said, I was hungry, Jesus. you didn't feed me. I was naked, you wouldn't clothe me. And because we got so caught up in who we are, we forgot that we have an obligation to people who don't have what we have. And this pandemic is putting us right there. Powerful, Bishop. One last question before the last question. 